chaos has broken out in Cape Town's Parkwood following an attempted land seizure in the area. Police are currently locked in a battle with protesters who are refusing to move from a vacant piece of land. Authorities this morning removed tents and structures erected by the group. The land occupiers retaliated by hurling stones at police. No arrests have been reported so far. Let's get you more on that story and we're joined on the line by the city of Cape Town's Wayne Dason. Good morning to you, Wayne. So we are reporting on what is a very volatile situation. What is your understanding of what's happening as we speak? Yes, um, if I can just give you some background. Good, good morning to you. Just give you some background on what happened. In Parkwood yesterday in Cape Town, um, a group of people from the surrounding community invaded public open space and put up pegs um, and structures and uh, tents in what was initially supposed to be a peaceful protest to hand over a memorandum to the local councillor about the community's housing needs. Uh, the city then engaged them and informed them of the illegality of the action, uh, but they said they would remove the pigs and structures as soon as the memorandum was handed over. They, however, they reneged on this agreement and more people moved in last night. The city then moved in this morning to remove the pigs and structures and some elements uh, in the community reacted violently. Petrol bombs were thrown and officers were stoned, uh, the city's vehicles were damaged and the local councillor was also threatened um, and our officers then had to remove him from the area and place him under our protection um, as a precaution. Um, currently um, there is engagement between the community leaders and the councillor um, but there is still some sporadic cases of looting of shops and stoning uh, going on. These people who are now trying to settle on the piece of land, where do they come from? Well, it is our understanding that it is people from the surrounding area of Parkwood, the community of Parkwood. And are there housing issues new? How long have you known that this was a community that is rather desperate for decent housing from you as the city? Well, um, this, is, this is something that uh, the, the whole issue about land and, and, and um, the lack of housing is something that has been going on for a long time, but not just um, in Parkwood, in other areas as well. And the city has been addressing this as best as we can and as speedily as we can, but sometimes people tend to take matters into their own hands and we have these unfortunate uh, consequences. Would you agree that your best hasn't been good enough, Wayne? Um, I would not say it hasn't been good enough. I think we have done everything that, uh, that, that we could have done in terms of the resources that we have at our disposal. But our housing people would be in a better position to answer that question for you. But your housing people then haven't done enough because if you say you've done everything that you can do and we're sitting with a situation where a community is so angry with you as the city or as the government that they've now resorted to erecting structures on an unoccupied, possibly unserviced piece of land because they've been waiting so long, then you have indeed failed them. Well, if, if that's your view on it, I, as I said, I think that um, our housing people would be in a better position to answer that question for you because they are the ones that uh, provide uh, the infrastructure and the land and um, they would be better placed to answer that question for you. Do you think this group protesting there this morning is unreasonable? Um, well, from what I understand, um, the, uh, uh, the community, they wanted to have a peaceful protest. But in many cases, when people do this, their, their agenda is hijacked by um, a criminal element. And um, I'm not sure if that is what happened here, but that is, in most cases, that is what happened. So the community has a, um, a, uh, an agenda which is, which is genuine, but in many cases, it's hijacked by criminal elements. So what is the solution, Wayne? Uh, the solution? I, uh, well, look. We law enforcement, we deal with any type of lawlessness, and that is as far as we go. The solutions will sit with, uh, um, as I said, our housing officials, they would be, be better placed to give you an answer on that. Unfortunately, law enforcement, we are today to deal with the lawlessness and the criminal actions that take place. All right, Wayne Dyson from the city of Cape Town, thank you for your time this morning.